docket. Police. I love police. Police are easy. You got fooled somewhere along the line in the fifth class into thinking that police are difficult. They're really simple. They really are. You're gonna, police are going to be your favorite problem here very soon. Let's say I had a box. And I had a rope tied to it here. And the rope here was the only thing holding this box up. What would be the tension in the rope? The weight of the box, because it's got to balance that. What if I had two ropes holding up the box? What would be the tension in each rope? Half the weight of the box, because they're each combined balancing the weight of the box. That's how to go and keep, keep. Same kind of thing we have with pulley systems. If you look at pulley number one there down below, so pulley number one goes with question number eight. Okay, we got a 10 kilogram mass hanging from this pulley. And so what's holding, I'm sorry, yeah, hanging from this pulley system. So I'm pulling on this rope right here. Whatever force I pull with it on will equal the what? Tension of the rope. Okay, so here, this is the tension of the rope. But notice, how many times does my rope get a chance to hold this thing up? Well, it's pulling it up right there, it's pulling it up right there, it's pulling it up right there, and it's pulling it up right there. It gets four opportunities to pull on my mass. So what's the tension in the rope? Well here, I had like two ropes pulling up, so then the tension was half the weight. So here in this case, with four opportunities to pull up, my tension is only going to be fourth of my weight. What is my weight? Under 100 newtons. Yeah, mg, which in this case is 100 newtons. So the tension here must be a fourth of that. Twenty-five newtons. So in a complex pulley system like this, you just gotta figure out how many times is the tension pulling up on your mass and set that number of tensions equal to the weight that it's balancing. Cool, so that's not bad. So that's the easier type, truth be told, of pulley problem. So the tougher type of pulley problem are the problems two and three. Let's take a look at these. Okay, and all likelihood when you were taught how to do a pulley problem in your physics class back in the day, you were taught the hard way. You set up a bunch of equations, you set up equations for this mass, and you set up equations for this mass, and then you had to have a system, those, that system of two equations, combine them, either through substitution or linear combination or something, and solve. We're not going to do that. We're going to make this much easier. So first of all, if we got a frictionless pulley here, and problem... 9 says, for pulley, tool, pulley number 2, what is the acceleration of the 7.5 kilogram mass? Now, let's look at this for a minute. If I pull this guy down, what's going to happen to this guy? It's going to pull up. If I pull this guy down, what's going to happen to this guy? It's going to go up. Because these are connected by a rope, can either one of these really move independent of the other? No, whatever one does, the other does. So I'm going to pretend that I don't really have two objects anymore. I have one object that all moves in unison. 
So instead of getting two equations, we're going to solve this with one equation. Our pulley problem here, we're going to look at the net force acting on the whole system is equal to, well, if it's the net force on the whole system, then it's going to be acting on the total mass of the whole system to get the net acceleration. And they both have the same acceleration, we just talked about they move together. So that's why I'm going to treat this now, reduce this two body problem into one body. It makes it way simpler.